What's going on, Ron? This is Danny from Josh and Danny SEO. Kayla gave me a, you know, the go ahead to shoot this over to you. If you like it, great. If not, that's all right. But we're going to take a look and see what we can do for you. So right off the bat, um, I do like how you have your logo over here. If you don't have any, like, um, actual logo, go to uh, Canva. They, uh, you can create a free user ID and create yourself a nice little cool logo for yourself. You got home, services. It's not a drop-down menu, so I'm taking points off for you from that. Uh, videos, sure. You have a blog, employment. Oh, okay, that's cool. About and contact us, and you have your number of years. Schedule that. It's a little off the center of the page, so I can't really see it, so you lose three points. Anyway, San Diego Brush and Protection, schedule now, excellent. Um, I guess it's okay to have it again. I don't see a reason to because you already have it up here. But as a homeowner, commercial property owner in San Diego who needs their premises. Oh, okay, so you're kind of asking, ask for referrals and contact them. Uh, your painting contractor. Okay, so there's nothing wrong. I mean, there's probably a slightly, you know, more... I mean, there might be a better way to go about, you know, the words. Um, you contact us via website or phone. A little wordy, but I understand the, what, what you're going for over there. It's like uh, what happens, you know, steps A through C and then we're done. Services we provide. Okay, this is great um, that you have this. Only thing is, is you're not talking about it. I And that you definitely want to talk about what it is you're offering. Uh, so commercial office painting, exterior painting, cabinet painting, um, residential interior and exterior. Now there's a lot that goes into interior and exterior painting. So you might want to talk a little bit about that. Um, but content is key. So uh, local painters in San Diego County. So that's great because this is what we call a good keyword. It's location and buyer specific. Uh, so that's excellent. Um, been in the area for a little bit. PCA Painting Contractor Association. Um, five tips and tricks. Excellent. People do like the five tips and tricks and, you know, pros and cons, you know, people do like seeing that. Um, and most of them aren't going to ever act on it. They'd rather just call you to do it. But let's take a look behind the scenes. So like I said, the only real thing you're missing is is certain verbiage you're using uh, might be misconstrued for, for something else. Um, and uh, you want to talk more about what it is you're offering. You definitely want to do that. But let's take a look at the back end. I'm using a tool called Ahrefs. So a UR rating is basically what it is, um, how much Google likes your website, and a DR rating is how much they trust you. Now you do have 100, uh, all of it works on backlinks. Now a backlink is where you have your website link somewhere else and somebody can click on it, and a referring domain is when it comes back to you. Now not all backlinks are created equal. Some are more spammy than others, like uh, you know BuzzFeed, Wikipedia. You definitely wanna do strong painters blogs and you know kind of go from there. Now, um, you do also have 69 organic keywords. Uh, you did add that, which is fine. You're paying for one pay-per-click. Um, but you're only pulling in 33 organic traffic with that. My philosophy is if you have one keyword, you should get two to three people coming to your website if you rank number one, two, or three. So let's take a look at what your uh, back, not backlinks, but keywords are and see what's going on. So Ron Rice Painting, that's fine. You're getting 30 people a month searching for it. You're getting 11 people because you're position one. Now, I don't um, like ranking anyone for names like Rice Painting and Ron Rice, because not only can anyone in the United States search for that, but they might just be repeat customers at the same time, um, and they already know where to find you. So I would more probably look at, you know, local areas um, and have, uh, like, your name, and, well, what they're, what they're looking for, like this, Painting Contractors in San Diego, 250 people a month search for it, you're not getting anyone because you're in position 30. So you definitely want to boost yourself on that one. Uh, house painting San Diego, same thing, 450 people a month searching for it, zero traffic, and you are in position number 38, which is, you know, page number four. So that's the kind of stuff you want to go for. You want to go for a location and a service. So let's take a look at what that actually does look like. So we got Painter San Diego, California. And as we sc scroll through, um, by the way, um, service and location specific areas are very much buyer intent keywords which it means that somebody's looking for that service in that area it's also how you create google ad um, by using that concept but on the top over here we got you know these three guys in your gmb you can pay to be in here as well but you want to be in the top three simply because 30 40 percent of people will click on you in there now after that we got the organic search um you want to be you know top three but if you can't you know work on it you got yelp as number one you got hughes wow one day painting they are a franchise so typically they might be your biggest competitor but i went with stubborn because they're local and people like local so right off the bat over here they have a nice clean website over here no header but that's fine home about us services is a drop down menu service locations which is definitely what you want they go everywhere wow sorry i did not mean to click on that they might be a lot bigger than i thought gallery blog contact us blogs are good uh no thank you 
this is great, by the way, to have. Uh, where would you like to paint? Home next. So it'll probably go through and, you know, have your email and all that stuff there. Don't have too much in it because, you know, people get weirded out by that stuff. But professional painting contractors in San Diego, this itself is a keyword, by the way. And uh, you definitely want to find stuff like that. They're probably ranked very high for that. Uh, trusted affordable painting companies. Eight brilliant ways to pick paint colors. So they're trying to do as much as possible to get you to go through them, which is fine. Um, they got a lot of content over here. A lot of people have this. I don't fully believe that this is exactly what it is. I think people just put in, you know, random numbers. Stub and painting promise, which is what you want. You want like a three-step process. And then you have what it is they're offering. So they are talking a little bit about what each service is. That's great. You want to talk a little bit more, maybe two paragraphs for each one. Need help finding a paint color. And they're going to more than help you do that. You got testimonials. And then obviously experienced servicing them. Our recent work, which is fine. This will let me find out if this was professionally done or not, and it was not. So uh, it might just be that they have an old thingy. And I would probably view the gallery somewhere else. I wouldn't have it on the homepage, but nothing wrong with it. And then that's from their blog. So they got a lot going on over here. But let's take a look behind the scenes and see what's going on. So right off the bat, I'm going to let you know that they got a lot in the back end over here. So they have a 47 UR rating, which is, uh, you know, like I said, how strong their website is. And they have a 30 DR rating, which is how much Google trusts them. They're in the prime area. You want them in the 30s and 40s. They You do want a ratio one to one, so not far off. They do have 3,320 backlinks, as well as 1,070 referring domains. That's a lot that's going on over there, which means some of these are really strong for them to have a 30 DR rating. Now, they also do have 1,800 organic keywords at the ranking for with 949 traffic. Again, I think that, most of those keywords are going to be, you know, the wrong things. But what do I know? Let's take a look. Painting contractors in San Diego, 250 people a month searching for that. They're getting 48 people because they're in position number three. When you're in the top three spots, you'll get anywhere from 10 to 20%. Um, but all of these are buyer intent keywords, and they're getting a decent amount, roughly about 10, 20%, you know, depending. So, like, this one's what? Maybe maybe 12%? No, no. 15, 18%, whatever it is, same here. So they're getting a decent amount of traffic from good buyer intent keywords. So they're getting jobs. That's the cool thing. So all of their traffic seems to be from buyer intent keywords, not from, you know, international keywords like stub and painting. This, these are probably like just like uh, re re recurring customers or like uh, referrals or something like that. Um, but otherwise, it seems like a lot of their traffic is coming from the good spot. Now that obviously we don't care about. They're not getting any traffic from it anyway, obviously because they lost it. Never mind. So, no, they went about it really well. They are going to be a very tough person to beat, but you can beat them. So what is it that you need to do in order to beat them? we got to get content, right? More content, the better. They have a ton of content on their page. you got to beat them in content. That's step number one. Step number two is we got to get good organic keywords in there. Uh, and then step number three is we got to get more backlinks in them. So what that means is we don't need to get thirteen, you know, 3,000 of them, but we do need to beat them in the amount of backlinks and referring domains they have and then add another 50 on top of that. So... Doable. Will it happen by tomorrow? No. Will it happen by next year? No as well. But it's a step in the right direction. You can definitely get close. You don't have to be number one, but you know, you can get to number two or three. Anyway, that's all I got, Ron. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Other than that, you have a good one.